Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video is composed of things that I tinkered with throughout the day. For step-by-step -step detailed instructions of those tasks, you can click on the links in the comment section below. This video should contain tips and tricks of things that I've learned throughout the year. Now, I only plan on leaving this video posted for about 30 days. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. Off the day in the 2017 S60. This is a no smoking vehicle. Dash is totally digital animated. That's one of the things that we're not accustomed to being drivers of older vehicles. A lot of controls right there at your fingertips. Super comfortable steering wheel. Man, that thing feels like a baby bottom. We're going to be driving this next couple days, or he will be driving it the next few days. <laughs> but we're going to do a review on it later on, so we can let everybody know how it handles. I thought it might have been a hybrid, because it shuts down at intersections and stuff, but somebody said it's a auto-off feature to uh, avoid idling damages. So. Let's roll. I am working on installing a FLIR DVR multi-camera security system. As you can see, I already have four lights lit. That means I have four cameras installed already. I have uh, 8, 9, 11, and 12. I'm going to complete the rest of the 16 system package here. Um, doing this in an effort to pay off Queen B. Make a few bucks. I'm out here in California getting this done so that I can get that behind me. So you can order these systems through different suppliers. Order however many cameras you need to cover the security points that you want to cover and this will help you get this stuff installed. If the camera run with your Cat5 is less than 300 feet. The uh, Cat5 coming off this DVR should power the camera. If you are in excess of 300 feet and your camera doesn't fire up on your monitor, you're gonna have to power that camera separately. So that's what you need to know in your home application or small uh, business location these cameras will uh, work just fine off of the DVR. You can access these cameras through phone app or internet. Uh, you can, these things are being recorded up to a certain length of time to fill up the hard drive. You can uh, pull the information off of the camera. As you can see, they are very good quality. You can clearly see who's in the camera view. These things are uh, very good quality. This is a good system to have. Once the wire is in place in the connection, if you don't have the punch down tool, you can actually use the tool that comes with it to press those down inside the connector. Just push them down till they're all the way down and then trim off the ends of them with a razor blade or some other sharp item so that you can put the cap on them. But that tool right there can punch them down into the connector. Set it in a hard surface, push it down till it gets all the way in there, and do all eight of them. You just got to make sure that you get these colors in the right slots because there's no margin of error for having the wrong wire hooked up to the wrong connection. After they're all pushed down in there, you're good to go as long as you got no broken wire somewhere else. Now you got to remember that all eight of these wires may not be used in whatever system you're hooking up. It may use five of these wires or four of them. At any rate, you got to make sure they're all hooked up right because you often don't know which wire they use unless you start cutting wires to see which one falls out. For instance, in a uh, normal Ethernet internet application, only four of these wires are used. I used to remember, but I don't anymore. So now I'm going to snip off the excess and put the cap on it. We are pulling in Let's to the Cannon 
center because we are going to take a camera course. I'm not going to take the course with my droid. I'm going to take the course with my new camera that I have. It's not a Canon, but I should get some tips to shoot some good stills and videos. So if you follow me on Instagram, holla at your boy. The new Volvo S60. This is a rental. Has the camera system up there. Probably has lane assist. We had not learned how to activate that. But we're going to check a few things out on it next day or two. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.